So what's it like to wear braces as an adult? What can you expect? Well, back in July, I shared my experience of getting braces and why I needed them in the first place. I'll put the link to that video um, up above. <laughs> so I shared that I endured a violent beating to my face and needed emergency reconstructive jaw surgery to mend two breaks to my jaw. I'll show you the picture there. So I had two breaks, significant breaks to my jaw. Um, and you can see right here, it's actually on this side, um, right near the, the wisdom tooth. And then another significant break right here, which uh, separated well, one side of the jaw from, from the other. So um, as a consequence of this uh, broken jaw and reconstructive jaw surgery, um, I ended up with a misalignment in my teeth. And there was a large gap between the top and bottom um, of my teeth, which made caused the inability to chew, basically. So after waiting the prescribed year for my jaw to heal, I learned that um, I would need braces to address the misalignment issue. In fact, I was told I would need a second jaw surgery, but I had to start with braces. On July 14th, I had uh, braces installed by the amazing Dr. Sean Chung of uh, North Toronto Orthodontist. That um, installation experience was quite good, so uh, no complaints there. He's a, um, a great doctor, made it very easy and comfortable. Uh, and not only that, uh, Victim Services of Durham Region actually um, took care of the orthodontist fees for me, which was a huge help. And considering we're in the middle of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, um, I think it's worthwhile to share that support is available if you uh, become a victim of violence. And I, I really hope you don't. So what's it been like living with braces for the past five months? And what have been the results so far? Well... Let me tell you, there's, there's, as you can imagine, a, a few different things. So how does it feel generally speaking? It's, it's, you get used to it after a while, but it's, it's kind of uncomfortable. Um, if you're, if you don't have full lips, like I don't have full lips, they're kind of thin. So my lips often sit on the top of the braces, even in pictures where I'm smiling, I won't smile with my teeth. Um, I just don't feel comfortable. And, and maybe that's a self-conscious thing. But if you get braces, you can expect to maybe feel a bit uncomfortable about smiling uh, and showing your braces and your teeth. But what happens is the top lip often sits on top of the braces. You can even see it in the pictures are like, like sits on it like that. Or when I'm smiling with just my mouth, you can see the braces pop out. So that's been kind of an adjustment getting used to my smile, which is uh, not the end of the world, but that's definitely one thing that you, you might want to, you might be need, need to be aware of. Um, another thing that in terms of comfort with, with eating at first, it takes quite a while to get used to it. Um, but once you're used to it, for the most part, you can kind of eat pretty much um, anything except the chewy stuff and, and, um, things like meat, things that are really chewy. Um, it's really difficult to eat that type of thing and it gets, um, you know, food gets stuck in your braces. And if you're in a public situation, if you're out, um, uh, at an evening and an event, or if you're in an interview or something, uh, a business interaction, a luncheon, you need to be really selective <laughs> with the kinds of food that you order. It's, um, you know, it's just one meal, make the sacrifice, order soup or something like that. But uh, once you're home and, you know, you can, you know, have the meat, have whatever you want. It's just, you get a lot of stuff stuck in your teeth. So having said that, when you get braces, you get a lot of um, handy dandy little uh, little utensils to use, like these picks that you can pick 
in between the braces. Uh, there's these little tiny brushes. Uh, it's got like a little, little tiny toothbrush that you can stick in between uh, the braces to, to clean it. And um, another thing is <laughs> flossing. Oh my God, if you weren't into the habit of flossing before, this is going to be the end of you. <laughs> so there's a couple of things, uh, tools you can use. If you take, take the floss, uh, one of the little, I don't even know what you call this, floss threader. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like, like um, threading, uh, threading a needle. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. So you take the floss stick it through the eye of the, of the needle, I guess you could say, wrap it around and you end up with this, uh, really narrow end that you can stick in between the braces, pull it through and then floss. So your nighttime routine, when you floss your teeth, give yourself a lot of time because it could take probably about half an hour to get through every single te tooth because threading it is a bit of a challenge. Um, the only thing that I would say that has really caused me problems, um, uh, over the months is that the, uh, where the wires are, are snapped off, like there's wires thread through and then, you know, they have to fasten it on either side and then clip it. Sometimes there's like sharpness on the inside, uh, where the wire has been cut. And, um, when, when, odd things are in our mouth, we have a tendency to play with it with our tongue, right? So, you know, you, you pick at it with your, with your tongue and it's almost like you create a conscious awareness of this spiky thing in your, in your mouth. And that can, um, sometimes cause little, little abrasions in your mouth and, and they become, come sore. So you definitely want to, uh, be aware that that is something that could happen. And you just have to invest in this, um, wax, wax will become your friend. It's like four, four little strips, you usually get it when you first go to the dentist, but you can, or the orthodontist, but you can get it at like shoppers and you just break a little, a little piece off and squish it squish it up and put it inside your mouth, um, press it against where the sharp part is. And, um, honestly that fix the, fixes the problem. So if you have, um, an event to go to, you, maybe you have to do some speaking or an, another kind of important engagement or, um, or you're just in pain, <laughs> use, use some wax and that'll solve the problem. Now, one thing that, uh, I'm sure I was told, but it didn't register with me, um, is some of the things you need to avoid. And if anyone knows me, anyone who does know me, uh, knows that two of my favorite things to drink are coffee and red wine. And I started to notice in pictures that my uh, teeth looked a little gray. And I was like, why, why is, did I have this nice white smile? And now there's like this grayness. So I looked it up, um, to see, you know, what kind of things should you avoid with braces and two things, coffee and red wine. Okay. So temporarily I thought, okay, um, I guess I'm going to have to go to white wine and drink tea. I don't know, but you know, old habits die hard. So I looked up some solutions to the coffee, red wine stain. And, um, it's said if you just get a little ointment, uh, peroxide, hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and make yourself a little paste, do it once a day, create a little paste, stick it on the braces, uh, for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then, and then brush it, that should help with the staining <laughs> issue. So that's what I do now. And I, I use, uh, baking soda, uh, pretty much every day when I brush my teeth as well, because goodness only knows when these things finally come off, I don't want to have to be dealing with a lot of stains now. Um, anyways, so what has been the progress? To be honest, I am absolutely thrilled with the progress that's been made. And, uh, just today I went to the, uh, the dentist and uh, sorry, the orthodontist. And, um, I said, I said to, to Dr. Chung, because you know, it looks like the, the gap is closing. 
you know, how much longer am I going to have to wear them? Because I thought maybe I could get a get out of jail free card or whatever. But he said another another year or so. And he said basically uh, that we're, we're kind of starting from scratch just now because the gap has closed. So it's almost like I came in without that gap and we're starting from scratch. So I have to anticipate another another while ago. But I'm going to show you a picture of the progress that has been made. Uh, let me see if I don't move move this out of the way here. Okay. Let's see if I can get out of the way. Okay. So in July, when I first recorded uh, the video when I was on my way and uh, before I had the braces, July 14th, the um, this was the gap that I had uh, in my uh, between the the front, the top and the and the bottom. It was quite significant. And then uh, a few months later, when I when I came in, I, now I'm going to point this out. You often will have to wear elastics when you get braces. Um, put in often there at the brace the elastics go on the top on your um what do you call them your eye teeth your canine teeth i don't know right these these two areas but because of the nature of the um, misalignment in my teeth i had to wear it kind of like in a triangle so you can see how incredibly attractive this was <laughs> but um, even in September two months later the uh, bottom teeth started straightening out and up here I'll point out up here you'll notice that that one tooth was kind of resting on that uh, uh, bottom tooth and after a couple of months, that tooth started to go straight down. So the the, the uh, problem was being corrected, uh, but during that time, unfortunately, uh, my teeth looked worse for a period of time. But it's because the problem was being fixed. So now, uh, fast forward to November, you can see that the gap between the top and the bottom um, has actually almost completely closed. So. A lot of progress is made in a very short period of time, and that's something that should give you uh, a lot of a lot of well-being, <laughs> mental health. So, something I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to zoom in, zoom into my mouth, and show you this. Uh, when the braces were first put in, the wires there was two wires on the bottom, one that kind of kept together the teeth on this side um, and then on the other side in between the break because they wanted to raise up the tooth uh, before they put the wire straight across. So now uh, now so much progress has been made in only five months um, that a wire has been able to be, be put straight across. So I'll show you. See if you can see right there that there's now a wire going straight straight across. So so today I had a really good appointment. There's like a, a really solid wire on the top now. And what the doctor said was that's going to create the structure and the foundation for the rest of the healing that's going to take place. So I wanted to share uh, this experience with you because if you're contemplating getting braces and you're like, oh my God, you know, I don't want to, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know, you know, what I'm, what I can expect. Well, you can expect some discomfort, uh, physical discomfort and psychological discomfort for sure. Um, my smile is, is not the same. I'm very self-conscious. Um, uh, when I talk, I tend to cover my mouth. I don't know why. Um, I don't smile with my teeth the same way, although I do have a really nice picture of my husband and I. This is one of the first times that I, without even thinking, smiled with my teeth showing uh, when we were out for a walk. So, I mean, it's in there psychologically, but you can expect that, um, you know, you'll have some resistance and trepidations with, with wearing the braces. You can expect that there'll be some physical discomfort with the spiky things. But like I said, just invest in some wax. You can expect uh, extra time spent at your bedtime routine, flossing your teeth. It's a pain in the butt. You can expect that if you're a coffee drinker, a red wine drinker, that you're going to need to invest in 
baking soda and hard hydrogen peroxide or give it up or switch switch your beverage um, but at the end um, the the progress is really fast and I know you'll be happy that you decided to take the challenge on and and just wear the braces it's only temporary it's not forever so just keep keep that in mind your smile will be glorious when they when they come off so i hope you found this video helpful um, if you like the way the video was produced um, and you want to know how i did it you can click on the affiliate link down below for ecamm live i do all my videos using ecamm live uh, software. It's, it's really great. And, uh, especially if you're a Mac user, which, which I am. Uh, but having said that, I, I hope that you found value in this video. Please share it. If you found it useful, we'll see you on the next video with Kimberly Black. Be positive.